Right now we serve over 3,200 students and the exciting thing is that over 40% of our students are military connected. We've designed programs to help them adjust and um, maximize student learning. In 2012, we started the Madigan um, Health Clinics at our schools. Families can make appointments with our military uh, clinics, kids can be seen by physicians, and our students don't miss school, and the parents aren't missing work. The other thing is that, you know, uh, we're in the military just like they are, and their families are, so it seems like um, we probably have a more of a cultural connection with them and if they go to a doctor on, on the outside that doesn't really understand that their parents are in the military and have to deploy all the time and um, you know have to go off to war and have to be gone a lot compared to other students. Our grant, the Safe and Sound Project, establishes a three-tiered intervention service for all of our students. So we're taking a two-prong approach. Our first one is how do we provide immediate supports for all of our students? And that's why we've hired two social workers to provide that type of support in our schools. Our second approach is how do we create a system so that we can increase our capacity to help all students who may be facing a crisis situation or who may just need that additional support. A lot of the students I end up meeting with, no matter what, are connected to the military in some way, um, whether it's parents, grandparents, um, neighborhoods, etc. I always say I'm kind of like a school counselor, but I don't care as much about your grades as I do care about you as a person. To better support the needs of our active duty and recently separated military families, our district has two military family life counselors. Uh, they can provide services around anything from deployment, coping with deployments, uh, to coping with grief and loss, uh, with behavioral problems, and to just adjusting to our school in general. We have programs that serve students right when they arrive. Student to student is one of those examples. So some mentoring and, and friendly kids that, that are excited to meet other kids coming to, to our high school. So I think S2S has a really important role in shaping the culture of Silicon High School. We are just thrilled and excited to have been awarded this grant and we really look forward to sharing with our overall school community and our neighboring districts all the different initiatives that we'll be able to implement because of this funding.